Okay, students, so this was actually the bell tightener exercise which we did last time. And uh, you have actually, we made a maid last time, as you can see from here. The, we made all these maids and there we made a coincident maid as well. And if you see this coincident maid, this maid is actually, if you suppress this maid, what's going to happen, you can, you know, rotate this. Not this one, sorry. Unsuppress. There is this one, this parallel mate. As you can see, this parallel mate is actually between the two planes. So these are actually the front planes and uh, there is a mate between these two mates. So you can unsuppress it. You can suppress it. And when you suppress this, you can rotate it. Anyway, I forgot to add one mate actually uh, in my last video. I will do it right now. I forgot to add one mate and uh, this should, you know, this should not go all the way around. This should not go all the way around. So you should have to, uh, you have to apply a mate, which is called the uh, angle mate. Okay. So you can go to the advanced mate over here and over here you will see, this is the distance mate. As you can see, it's written distance and this is the angle. Okay. So over here it's written angle. I forgot to do this last time and uh, you can, you know, uh, select the two planes. You can select the two planes. The first plane can be like uh, the the front plane of this uh, bracket. The front plane of this bracket, which is actually this bracket, the green bracket. Okay, so this is the front plane, and the second plane can be the uh, front plane of the of this uh, frame, which is actually this one. Okay, so these are the two, you know, the two planes and uh, the two planes are selected. Okay, now I can, you know, make an angle between them. For example, if the angle is zero degree, for example, if I enter zero, what's going to happen? The angle between them be will become zero. If I make the angle minus 30, what's going to happen? Let's see. Okay, so it cannot go beyond, uh, you know, okay, it cannot go. So this is, as I increase this distance, you can see that the angle is increasing. Okay, as I reduce this distance. So if I'm increasing, when I'm increasing, because I have multi pressed it multiple times, that's why, you know, it is going like this. So now if I reduce this, for example, so this is going to come down, as you can see, you can flip the dimension as well. If you flip the dimension, it's going to go the other way. Okay, so there can be, you know, the angle made between the two planes. So what I can do, what I can do is that uh, if I, if I, for example, make this. Uh, okay, if I, for example, make this one. Plus 30, plus 30, plus 30 degree. Now this is the current position. Remember, this one is the current position, tells you the current position. And if I make this like uh, plus 330, okay, or uh, you can say it 330. Let's see if it works. We will have to check. Now, this is the 330. This minimum is actually 330 and the maximum is actually is actually 30. Let's see if it works. Oh, this, this has to be, this number has to be less than this one. Can I choose the minus or negative value? I think I cannot. Yes, we can. We can choose the negative value as well over here and we can choose the positive value over here. So you can see that we can have a negative value over here. Let's see, I have plus 30 degree and minus 30 degree. Minimum is minus 30 and maximum is plus 30. This is the current value. And we do not adjust this. We just, you know, put the numbers over here. Okay. And click OK. And we have to see how it works. So click OK. Now the mate is actually there. Okay. Remember that I have suppressed this parallel mate. Now, if I, if I try to move this, look, it's moving minus 30 to plus 30. Can you see? 
So if you, you can increase it, you can make it like minus 40, minus 50, minus 60, it's up to you. For example, of course, this belt tightener doesn't go beyond this much, this much range. It doesn't come down. You have to, you have to add something extra over here to stop it moving it, move, rotating it further, further to these positions. So it doesn't go beyond these values. So I forgot to add this mate. Now, when I come to the drawing, for example, if I come to the drawing, make drawing, and for example, my position is like this. I'm going to come to the drawing. Remember, you have you have already made a template. Okay, so you have the template with you and use that template. Do not waste time in making the template. Uh, I mean this title block. Okay. Do not make waste time. You already have made it before and you can bring this title block already made, uh, which is already made in your exam straight away. So click on this A3 and C. OK, and you will see this paper. Now this one is already, you know. Made I'm not going to take I'm not going to uh, make it again. So we have done this in a separate video. You can see it in my videos. Now, if I click on view template, if I bring the right view in now, look at the position. What the position is actually. The position is actually not correct. OK, this is my right front view. Sorry, this is my right view, uh, top view, and this one is my right view. So you can see the three views and this is actually the isometric view. These are the four views. OK, so if you see the orientation of this, I want that the orientation should be OK, because when this orientation is not correct, you can see that, you know, these lines are this surface is not in the proper orientation and this surface, you know. They should be at the at the top and these positions are not proper, so this position should be straight up. OK, now that's why. What we have to do, we have to unsuppress this. When we are checking it, look at this. If I rotate it like this, this comes to this position actually. And when I go back to the drawing, what's going to happen? The drawing is going to update automatically because my assembly has updated. My drawing is going to update automatically, but this is again not the correct position. It's not completely straight as you can see. So what I will do, I will come back here again and unsuppress this parallel mate. When I unsuppress this parallel mate, this is going to become straight. OK, as you can see in the front view. This is a front view. And this is the right view and from the right view, you can see that it's straight and this is what I want in my drawing. I want this position to be in my drawing and you can see that in the drawing is updating as you can see. Drawing updated. So now you can see that it is updated. Now, the first thing which many students make problem is that you always have to remove the tangent edges. Look at these things. These are all tangent edges. OK, so you have to always remove this. There shouldn't be these lines over here because they are, you know, this. These are the these are actually the tangent edges. The curve actually ends tangentially over here. So this and this line shouldn't be there. OK. We know that these are all tangent edges. So when I'm going to remove this tangent edge, the tangent edges do not come in. Remember in. Uh, in drawings, they do come in in uh, this. Uh, in this part file. In the part file, the tangent edges are shown like these tangent edges are shown just for clarity. If I remove the tangent edges, what's going to happen? The clarity will not be there. As you can see, look that the tangent edges are not there, but the shades are there. Now you can see you can think about the part by looking at the shade, but the, you know the clarity is still less. If I remove the shade and I make everything yellow with no shade, with no different uh, variation in color, then you will not be able to figure out how the part looks like actually. So we do show the shades as well as the tangent edges for the clarity. OK, the shades are there as well as the tangent edges are there. But you can remove the tangent edges by clicking on this one. OK, only shades. Now shades, there are still shades as you can see. Shades are shade is still there, but in this situation, the tangent edges is shown, and in assembly we do show, do make tangent edges. Okay, now remove tangent edges from this one, from this one as well. As you can see, there are tangent edges over here as well. These are the tangent edges. So remove this. 
Okay, it's going to go away. These are the loop. Okay, and similarly remove tangent edges from here as well. This is the first thing which you have to do. If you are not going to do this thing, you will lose marks. Now, what we can do, this is one is to four, make it one is to two and see how it looks like. Now, making one is to two is going to make the drawing bigger. Okay. It's going to make it bigger. Okay. If you want that, no, one is to two is not good. I want it to be one is to 1.5. You can go there, user defined, and hit enter one ratio. For example, not two, 2.5. For example, you can make it small as well. Okay. Now, this one should be, you know, colored. So I'm going to click shaded with edges. Now, this is only shaded. And this is shaded with edges. So I want shaded with edges. So this is my original part. It's there. And this is the front open. Front view, right view, and the top view. Okay. Now. Okay. So what next I have to do? Generate the assembly drawing of, of the belt tightener. Draw.